Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm a geologist. I do videos about geology, hiking, studying and rocks. So if you're interested in any of those subjects, please hit the subscribe button and welcome to my channel. By far the most asked question on my Instagram is what is the difference between geologists and geophysicists and which is better? Well, I thought I'd address this today. You probably heard a joke that says geophysicists are geologists that do math and to some degree it's true. Now, both geologists and geophysicists study Earth, so they both uh, under the Earth science umbrella and they both study planet and the processes that shape the planet. But the main difference is the methodology. Now, to understand who is doing what, we need to look at both professions separately and then compare the two. So let's start with geologists. So geology in general is the study of Earth, both internal structures, core, crust and the surface and the processes that shape the Earth. So the rivers, the volcanoes, the atmosphere. And geologists study all of that. Um, some do more field work where they collect data and then analyze it in the lab. Uh, others do uh, collect data from drilling. And geologists look on a really wide time scale. So everything from the past all the way to the present. Geologists often work for mining companies, oil and gas companies looking for resources. They can also work for environmental companies, uh, construction companies and government bodies and doing geological surveys or do academic research. What are main job responsibilities of geologists? Well, that's basically collecting data from the field, from geological sites uh, for further analysis, for further studies, do mapping to interpret both the surface, the topographic maps, as well as the internal uh, maps to interpret the underground layers and as well as to communicate the findings to managers, to stakeholders or just general public and do scientific research. Now let's look at geophysicists. Well, geophysicists do a lot of many things that geologists do, but as a general rule of thumb, they don't do as much field work as geologists do and they collect a different type of data. A lot of geophysicists collect uh, seismic surveys, gravity, uh, res resistivity surveys, they work with gravity data and magnetic data and often they, after they collect the data, they sit in front of a computer and do a lot of crunching and a lot of modeling and analyze the data to support a geological either theory or to, ge uh, to support a geological finds for resources. Geophysicists can also work for mining and oil and gas companies, for resource companies, for environmental companies, uh, construction companies and government bodies as well, as well as do scientific research. So they, inter the overlap is huge. Now, more calculations and modeling is done by geophysicists, whereas more field work and more stratigraphic analysis mapping is done by geologists. Now, to compare the two, it's nice to visualize. So I created a table. So geophysicists are more computational, they're more analytical, and they work more with seismic data, sonic logs, uh, gravity and magnetic data, as well as resistivity logs. Geologists, on the other hand, are more interpretational and observational, and they often work with uh, data that came from core analysis, from outcrops, uh, gamma ray density logs and stratigraphy and geologists use a lot of color pencils. But as a whole, as you can see, both professions work towards the same main goal and that's to create a model of the earth and to interpret the earth. Now, from personal experience and I worked for an oil and gas company, on our team we always had a geophysicist. Geophysicists made a little bit more money uh, on average, in Canada, the average salary of geophysicists are around $75,000 a year. Now, that's an average, so there's a huge range between. And geologists on average make around $69,000 a year. However, even though that might sound lucrative, there is way less geophysicists than there are geologists working on a team, usually. So, in the company I used to f work for, that ratio would often be around 10 to 1. So for every geophysicist, there would be 10 geologists. And that's because as a geologist, I not was only analyzing data, I was not only mapping the area that I was given to, but I was also responsible for mapping, I was responsible for finding future drill locations, I was responsible for creating those 
drill schematics and I was responsible for overseeing the drilling when the drilling rigs were actually drilled. So there was a lot of components to my job, not just strictly science and geology. Whereas geophysicist that I worked with, uh, he or she would be responsible for doing uh, seismic surveys or like micro seismic sometimes we did in some wells and then putting it into one big model, uh, creating a 3D model, maybe using sonic logs and resistivity logs as well as the seismic surveys and then integrating that um, data analysis with my geological interpretation to create one big model and so geologists would cover smaller areas where geophysicists would cover one large area. So it because there's less geophysicists it's much harder it's hard to find a job as a geologist but it's much harder to find a job as a geophysicist as a rule of thumb that's not everywhere and that depends where you are. So with that I wanted to address the question which one is better? Well neither is better they're different but they're both equally important. Uh, petroleum companies especially they need both professions as well as mining. Um, they have different set of skills. Now I also get asked well which one should I do and that comes from don't take my uh, opinion as an advice what you should be doing you should be looking at your situation but in general I would say uh, most companies would require you to do masters regardless so it's good to have a general geoscience or geology bachelors and then do masters in geophysics. And that's because in my geology program, I was required to take five geophysics classes of various difficulties. And very early on, I realized for myself that I don't want to be a geophysicist. I don't, I'm not enjoying crunching data, sitting in front of computer modeling all the time. I want to be in the field. I want to do mapping. I want to do a lot of interpretation. And I found like geology is more creative uh, for me, but I'm just not very analytical. People that are very analytical, they enjoy geophysics more. So if you were to do a general geology degree, you would be exposed to geophysics regardless because most university would make you to take geophysics classes uh, if you're in geology program. And then you can decide what, if you like it or not, and take more of those classes in your master's program. But having a geology base uh, degree would give you more opportunities to look for jobs. Once you graduate with your master's, you can, be, you can apply for both geology and geophysics positions. Also from my own experience all of my friends that are geophysicists they are more analytical they enjoy math more and I always think about geophysics being kind of in a like this middle happy middle between geology and engineering whereas geology is on one end of the spectrum where it's interpretive and there's a lot of sort of not guessing but scientific guessing goes into it and there's a lot of things that are open to interpretation. Engineering is on the other spectrum whereas everything is very precise. They use precise numbers to do their models and yes they do various models but it's very um, very analytical and very it has to be very precise. And geophysics here in the middle where they do work with data, they're more analytical than geologists in, in, on average, not always. And, but they also have a lot of room for interpretation for their surveys, for example. Now, depending on what field you're working in, geology and geophysics can be very, very much alike or they can be very different. And a lot of, in, for example, in petroleum world, especially that's because I, that's what I know, uh, for smaller companies, a lot of the time one person would be doing job of a geologist, geophysicist and a petrophysicist. So it's nice to know a little bit uh, from each field. I, Because I took geophysics classes at university, I have enough knowledge to understand seismic surveys, uh, to do a very basic processing and ba very basic interpretation, which helped me tremendously when I talk to the teammates, for, when I talk to geophysicists, I understand what they're talking about. So it's nice to know both um, and that just comes down to personal preference. Are you more mathematical or are you more interpretational and you like science without math? Now with that, hopefully that sort of gave you a broader overview. What's the difference between geologists and geophysicists? Neither is better, they're both equally important and 
do your research and comment below if you're a geophysicist or a geologist or you may be studying to be one give me a like because that's how youtube knows that you like this video and will promote it to others and hopefully everyone is staying safe and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye bye